the Afghan Hound is elegance personified. This unique, ancient dog breed has an appearance quite unlike any other. Dramatic silky coat, exotic face and thin fashion model build. I do understand why people like this breed, but before getting an Afghan Hound you should watch this video. You will learn everything about this dog based on 8 topics, so you can find out all that you want to know. Number 1. Origin Afghans can be traced back to several regions in Afghanistan with distinct differences in their coat and color depending on where they are from. DNA researchers have discovered that the Afghan Hound is one of the most ancient dog breeds and dates back thousands of years. For centuries they have served as hunting companions for humans who rely on them for their speed, quick and independent thinking and panoramic vision which are common traits of all sighthounds. In the mid 1920s British military officers began bringing Afghan hounds to the west and in 1927 the breed was registered by the American Kennel Club. Number 2. Personality the Afghan is not a breed for someone that wants an affectionate and needy pet. While pups will be playful and enthusiastic, over time the breed matures into a rather reserved and aloof dog. The typical Afghan is more likely to be found curled up in the corner of a room as opposed to lying across its owner's feet. However, that it is not to say that they can thrive without companionship. As of any dog of working origin, the Afghan Hound bonds most strongly with one individual to whom it will be more responsive. When called into action, for example when going for a walk, it becomes clear that rather than resenting the company of humans, the Afghan simply refers to remain detached until such time as there is something to pique his interest. Number 3. Appearance Properly groomed, the Afghan's coat is spectacular. It is very fine in texture similar to human hair, thick and silky. On the head is a long silky top knot and with the exception of the back, the entire body is abundantly covered in hair, even the ears and feet. The hair is short and close along the back and smooth in major dogs. All solid colors are allowed by the American Kennel Club breed standard, with certain color combinations considered the most pleasing. This breed will grow 29 inches tall which is 74 centimeters and weighs up to 64 pounds which is 29 kilograms. Number 4. Trainability Afghans are intelligent dogs known to be mischievous and capable of applying themselves to problem solving in order to get something they want. However, they are equally known to be one of the more difficult to train breeds, scoring poorly in terms of learning new comments and speed of response to verbal commands. Training an Afghan requires time and patience and as most mentioned the breed does not respond well to a frustrated or critical owner. Professional obedience training incorporating socialization is advisable from a young age. With time and a patient approach, you can house train and command train your Afghan hound and make him a fun to have pet. If you want to learn more about dog brain training and training methods, check out the description. Number 5. Time investment A good routine for your Afghan hound is to take them out, making sure you go through the door first and give them a good long walk and even a jog as they will be able to handle the speed with their relatively medium to large strides. Exercising should be considered a part of any dog's normal routine, but the Afghan hound should respond well to exercise with a little more edge to it than smaller breeds. Grooming is a must for the Afghan. Because the coat is fine, it has a tendency to tangle easily. Regular, even daily brushing and combing is necessary as is frequent bathing. Number 6. Best Home Afghans are sensitive to rough treatment and even harsh words can make them become very withdrawn and even defensive when badly treated. For this reason they are not ideal dogs for children as persistent hair pulling or pinching from a young child is likely to end badly with the breed's low tolerance for pain and sensitive nature likely to result in defensive biting. As with any sighthound, Afghans are not always dependable with smaller pets and if a cat or other small animals is seen to run away, it will be seen as fair game for chasing. 
If reared with a cat from puppyhood, the dog will likely respect that individual animal, but this does not extend to others. They often resent the company of other dogs, as most are likely to be too exuberant and enthusiastic for the refined Afghan. Number 7. Health Saitons such as Afghans have naturally low stores of body fat, so they tend to be sensitive to anesthesia. Breed experts recommend seeking out a Saiton Savvy veterinarian for surgical procedures. Like other deep chested types of dogs, Afghan hounds can experience bloat, a sudden and life threatening swelling of the abdomen. Owners should educate themselves about its symptoms and what to do should bloat occur. The Afghan hound's life expectancy generally ranges anywhere from 12 to 14 years. Number 8. Costs The cost to buy an Afghan hound can vary and depends on factors such as the breeder's reputation, the litter sites, lineage of the puppy and breed line quality. An Afghan hound adult or puppy usually costs around $1,500 on average. The cost for a well-bred pedigree puppy can be even a bit higher, up to $4,000. You should also not look for special offers for a puppy. This could be signs for low quality puppies without any exact information about the health of the parents. Besides these costs, you have to pay between $500 to $1,000 a year for wet bills, food, toys and leashes. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Also watch our recent video. And if you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.